You might think evolution takes a long time, and it often does, but in today's cities, plants, animals, and microbes are all under immense pressure to survive and thrive. Researchers combed through years of data and discovered some of the genetic changes wrought by high rises, extensive roads, and close association with people. The data shows that in urban areas, chances of mutation correlate with the amount of pollution. Herring gulls in industrial steel towns experience greater rates of mutation than in rural or non-industrial areas. Genetic drift, where allele frequency changes are driven by chance, is found in small and isolated populations. Such conditions are now being created by cities, where fragmentation and isolation is created through urban development. In other words, certain traits may become more or less common by chance rather than selection, at least initially. Salamander populations in New York City, Montreal, and Oviedo, Spain, each had lower levels of genetic diversity than populations in more rural areas. This decrease in diversity is leading to increased differences between populations, not only between rural areas, but urban ones as well. Decreased genetic diversity can have negative impacts. For example, extreme bottleneck events reduce the potential for species to adapt to changing conditions and can lead to inbreeding. Bobcats living in Los Angeles are currently experiencing a bottleneck due to urban development fragmenting the population and chemical exposure from prey pesticides. Local adaptation is common and often helps an organism deal with its changing environment. It appears such local adaptation is occurring with cities as well. For example, bedbug populations across the U.S. show genetic differences between cities. Finally, what can we actually see in physical adaptations? In Tucson, Arizona, urban house finches have adapted to their sunflower seed-heavy, bird feeder-based diet. Their beaks are longer and wider than their rural cousins. In Montpellier, France, holy hawksbeard plants are producing more seeds that disperse closer to the parent plant due to the lack of optimal soil around the city. Ultimately, it's important to be sure that as urban areas expand, they do so in a way that's conducive to life that dwells within them, human or otherwise.